Hey guys, Happy Froble Man, and here today we will be making something. And what is that something? Well, we haven't really made. I have noticed a lack of something. Something is lacking. And I just know something is lacking. You have SUVs, tr truck. I mean, we built an SUV once. But I feel like we haven't built full scale. Or like something, like a front wheel drive car, like yes, a f minivan, or people mover. Uh, check, the longer wheelbase is more acceptable, because you gotta get them in the van. Now we gotta make this under 60k, so, what is going to get fiberglass is, fiberglass it is, now. You can put a ladder, but then monoconk, it doesn't really need power, I guess. It's going to be front wheel drive, I guess. Comfort is a good interest. Multi-link. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be multi-link, or... Torsen beam. Yeah, we need a torsen beam. <laughs> Why are we putting torsen beam? Yes, we're going to put a torsen beam on it. Selecting. I mean, it's going to be front wheel drive, so I don't. I don't really think that's going to be a problem. Damn it. Oh, yes, that is good. Family. VR. No. UO zero engine can be a V6 engine can be cast 2020 we live in 2020 now now we just need a 3 liter a 3 liter, it's, it doesn't need to be something, it doesn't really need to be uh, anything like strong or powerful. It's not like the engine's going to blow up on us. Plus, we're not going for performance, we're going for a more easier... We're going to skip the turbos, I know. Carburetors... Yes, I know, I know, I know. Why carburetors? It's not going to be economical. But how about we do anyway? Like, this is a V6. Performance. Like at least we could do my carburetors. No, we're not. We're actually going to do. I guess you can put per cylinder. Single point. But how does this look like a carburetor? Like, look, does this not look like a carburetor? What am I looking at? You can put a V6. This is a V6. And now this looks like a horn. Why does it also look like a carburetor? See, let's go check. Yeah, it has a carburetor. Or is that supposed to restrict air? I don't really know. This looks not more like a carburetor as well. Is everything a carburetor? Like malt mechanical fuel fuel injection. Oh we got a twin. First cylinder. And it's going to be not a performance, 
Screw it, we're going for direct injection. Regular, because the car has to be cheap for these high school students. Shortcasts. Yeah, screw it, like. For more power efficiency, I guess. Two way, baffled, baffled. Engine makes 168 horsepower. Wow, this is so something because it starts at a good amount of torque. Okay, so it can only last to 7,000 RPM. You can make it. You gotta make it lean. Headers are dying, so what can we do with the headers? Wait, let's go to the exhaust. Wait, we're just raising it? No. 127 millimeter exhaust. Baffled. Two way helps. The three way destroys it, and then I'm baffled as well. Reverse flow headers. Let's go find them. Let's just put four valves. Okay, now we just decrease its life. Like, come on, man. Work with me. Cast does not work. What is it that he wants? Can it not take pressure? Like, I'm going to do pressure. Like, I'm going to pressure it. You know, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. But you're going to pressure the engine. See, look, now the engine has destroyed headers. I can't even reach the fuel. It's running too lean. Headers are dying, okay. Headers were perfectly fine. They were once perfectly fine. That doesn't save it at all. Come on, please work with me. Like, come on, man, like, the headers are dying. Come on, work with me. It is so little power. The engine can... Pr yeah, see, it dies. This is not a lot of power. This better have enough... It doesn't have efficiency. Efficiency is going down. See, that's the problem. It's not efficient. Oh, shoot. It's... Oh, my God. Come on, work. Like... Come on, headers, you don't have to die on me. Look. Don't die. I just want to make a car that lives. And it's not going to let me do it. Plus, I'm going to waste a lot of fuel from doing that. Uh -huh. Wait, how? How? How though? A 2.4 liter headers and exhaust? I don't know, man. Like, now we have the Conrods. Headers? Like, how are the headers, like, dying? It 
Explain to me, it, headers. This engine is probably the most confusing engine. Why? Because, like, one thing wants to die, then, next thing you know, they're alive. This engine makes no sense. I shouldn't have made this engine. Cam profile is not helping my case. Headers and exhaust? How how are the headers dying? How are they dying? That's like a big question. How can they die? Headers cannot die. I made the heads like supposed to be like strong enough. Air of oh. Oh, I didn't read that. Tubular. Long tub tubular. It's better efficiency. Though it doesn't need that power, but fuel system, let's check. Yeah, fuel systems and exhaust. Okay, why does the exhaust have to be like what? A hundred and no car has like a hundred eighty. No, do you have to have a catalytic converter? Baffled should work. Okay, we gotta do a straight through. We street just so we can like survive. Like now we have like what? I don't know. Wait, we gotta make the cam profile like up, up a notch, and yes, this is kind of cheating, but come on, it's, it's necessary. It doesn't need 200 horsepower. But come on, let it, it's just sinking. That's the problem. I gotta give it a 70. Let's hear what it sounds like. That sounded okay. We're not making a panel van, we're making a people mover, which is an interesting term for a minivan, but okay, I don't care. Now, what would it be? What would it be? What should we make it to be? A brute rotar? I feel like we should give more attention to Beretta because, look, like, Beretta. We have not made a car for Beretta, but I don't want to make a car. I just want to make it for brute. Brute seems like the more okay. Now, why, why is there red? Why are there red trim? Why is there red trim? Like, how can I get this red trim off? Yes. Please. Like, none... Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, you can literally see the red trim. <sighs> Automation needs to, like... I don't know, like, trying to get their coloring right, because now, like, we are left with either, I can either, like, for, like, what, make the whole car red? But what car company is red? Don't tell me it's just going to be a Beretta. See, you gotta go on the stock red. Secondary color? Like, look, Beretta is, like, around this... This color was Beretta, but like the secondary color is like shiny, too shiny, 
And yes, this is an embarrassment to drive. See, you can now clearly see how there's like red trim. How is there? How is that possible? Red trim? Red trim is not like. You gotta hide that thing. <laughs> now it just screams, oh, I'm cheap. People want to get this red trim off right now. This will scream, I want to get it off. And I want to rip it off. As I can't even see, see, I can't even find it. So either I'm in the confines of having, being forced to make it red, automation red. Like, look, you gotta make it look like this. Screw it, we gotta make it red. Sorry guys if you had to drive this. Like, literally, who, whose parent drives a red SUV? No one, because no one has the courage to drive a colorful SUV. Like, I mean, SUVs are cool, but like, they're not supposed to be colorful in like a way. We're going to do this weird beak thing. Yeah, yeah, it makes no literal sense. Like, come on. You can do better than that, but I don't think... Like, look, the bumper does should not, should not be incorporated. Like, as a grill design, I see a grill that would fix it. I don't want it to make it look like a reverse sleeper. And it looks like a people's mover, it is a people mover. I'm using that term, it's a literal minivan. Brute, this is basically brute when like they have to like sell to like another market. When they have to sell to like families because nowadays people are poor. Not people. No one's poor. There are people, but they're they're poor in every generation. But it's not like now people have families today. It's more of families now. Now no more like of the oh I'm going to go fast and you can't stop me. It's more like oh I have a, I have a family and I have to feed them kind of situation. Meaning Brute has is going to lose customers. They aren't going to change. They're going to have to change their demographic for a bit. Hope, oh, kind of like Dodge, but like Dodge, kind of said, okay, we gotta make hmm, vehicles for families because nowadays you can't just make high-powered muscle cars. Though they're cool. I gotta go get the exhaust. Downpipe exhaust. I mean, this looks kinda weird. Bit awkward. It's not like a snake. Oh my god. I hate when this happens. Yes. Yes, now we have done so many things. Now we gotta get the indicators. Why is it important to have indicators? Well, you gotta indicate where you're going next. Oh, I just. I hate it when I make a pun. But I absolutely <laughs> love it. Like, see, look, you can't be too careful. <laughs> you gotta make sure that they know where you're going next, or else people will die, and then that's bad. This is more family friendly. Circles are family friendly. I'm telling y'all, if y'all cars doesn't have a circle, it's not fr family friendly. Well, that's a assumption.
Oh, that was some random person. Ish. Now we gotta go get some. Oh no, we're gonna have to like pull the doors back. It's more of a pullback. Like I'm, like I'm telling you guys, you guys have to have like family-friendly features. Hmm. I'm going to do what like Honda did. It's like this. It kind of looks like suicide doors, but like this is like a sliding door instead. See, look, cars like these have to be like more family friendly. They should be more friendlier to people. So, yes, that is a possible example. Now, sunroof. Would a sunroof be smart? I don't know. Many SUVs have sunroofs. I mean, it's basic. But I mean, that's what a car like this is supposed to be basic. Nothing special, just a basic SUV that you can drive. With some red mirrors. Now, you can tell everyone that you drive an SUV. How? Because your car is literally a red... Like, it's like red. Just red. Okay, now we gotta get the... Nothing. You got get the you, you had to get the lift gate. Now it's automatically a front wheel drive car, and it's going to be loaded with like technology. Like here's the thing: tires don't have to be really wide. It's more of a front wheel drive car, so I don't think we are going to need anything. Solid, vented. No under tray. I guess. But no, not really. Just fine for the brake airflow. Premium. Premium infotainment. One electric. But you want it to be like a safe car. I'm only at stuck at 420. 46 yes, we did under under sixty thousand dollars. But we lost. What did we lose? Well, it's about 5,000 pounds. We're gonna have to like... Going to have to have weight savings. Like, real weight savings. But only... See, that's the problem with the engine. The engine is... It's, it's still having red pipes. It's still red glowing. It's a, either it's just too... We gotta do this. I'm sorry, man, but... This was the only way. Plus... You can kind of cheap out on the engine itself. The engine does not need to go that far. Cast... Cast the pistons as well. Nothing is dying yet. Hopefully, nothing is dying. All we had to do is just increase. Like that. There, it doesn't need. 
So now that should get us. Oh my god. How are we getting <laughs> horrible gas mileage? Not terrible, but it's like. Standard infotainment. 20 miles per gallon? What? Comfort. Utility. We're stuck on this. Come on, my dude. Come on. We like cost like $43,000. And yet we can't get like good gas mileage. Look. Top speed. Ch check out top speed. Oh, that's why. It's unable to go at that speed. Fourteen. We gotta like understand. Now this is a cutthroat thing. You gotta check to see. If it's like going to like blow up on you, 131, 3, 133 is the max. Okay, it can't. We'll leave, leave some wiggle room for that. 20 miles per gallon, it only costs like $44,000. What did we do? What did we do wrong? How? How? Like, it's supposed to be like a very light car. It only has like 166 horsepower. Car weighs like 4,295 pounds. Now, we. Now, aluminum. Partial aluminum. Now, carbon fiber is like the only one that's lighter. Now, we gotta get AHS steel, which should reduce the weight and increase gas mileage. You know, screw it, we're going to use glued aluminum. This is the first time we're going to use glued aluminum. It's 21.1 miles per gallon. <laughs> it's like $50,000. Like, how fast can it do to quarter mile? And 0 to 60 is like 10 seconds. And yet, it can go to do the quarter, quarter mile in like 17 seconds. I mean, it's 4,000 pounds. Yes, I should not be angry at that's a minivan, but like, this is a minivan with like parts that are like wasted onto it. Like, like race tubular, for example, straight to exhaust, reverse flow, and it has a glued aluminum frame. Like, look how heavy this is. This sounds heavy, feels heavy, and it will be heavy. But on that note, it is time to call it a brute. Because brutes. Brute. Um, Brute Disan Diasa A Diasa A Brute Diasa Yeah, that sounds like a very stereotypical name of like a car like this. Diasan Very, 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 very stereotypical, but anyways, we're going to test it on the test track and see how it is going to handle. But anyways, that's it for today's video, and I hope you like it, and yeah, that's all. Bye, guys. If you liked the video, 
please like and subscribe, and please let me know what to build next.